Well, thank you all for being here today. As communicated at our first gathering, we'd like to begin this time and every time by acknowledging that the land threatened by these pipelines has been stolen once before from the indigenous peoples of those areas, that it's indigenous land that we stand on here today, and that it's indigenous peoples who started and lead the pipelines resistance movement. It's time to debunk the myth of job creation surrounding the Atlantic Coast and Mountain Valley pipelines. In reality, of the jobs actually created, an amount smaller than the inflated numbers reported by Dominion and EQT, the vast majority will be temporary and will be, and already have been, out-of-state jobs. Land, water, and livelihoods are being destroyed for 73 permanent jobs between the two pipelines, and not even all of those will go to the communities being sacrificed. Governor Northam's a smart man. He knows these pipelines won't bring jobs to Virginia, and they certainly won't bring so-called clean energy here. The dirty gas slated to flow through them won't even be used here. It'll be shipped overseas. As I'm sure the governor is aware, Trump himself mentioned selling gas overseas at his joint press conference with Putin. And it's no coincidence that both Atlantic Coast and Mountain Valley pipelines will have connections to Dominion's Cove Point gas export facility. It's time for the governor to breach the Dominion and EQT paid for gag order and stand against these pipelines. And so that'll be our focus today, jobs. And if y'all want to say anything. No? Yeah. Well said. Okay, so here's the list if you want it. All right, I'm going to read the letter over the megaphone today. Oh, good. So he can yeah. hear us. Do you mind? No, hold up. Yeah. Governor Northam, we write you today regarding the falsehood of job creation involving the Atlantic Coast and Mountain Valley pipeline. The jobs numbers reported by the pipeline companies were proven to be inflated and announced economics and applied economics clinic. The latter analysis also found that there is no clear support for the claim that the ACP would lead to additional opportunities for, no, for new manufacturing in the region. And this is likely the case for other new natural gas pipelines such as the Mountain Valley Pipeline. In other words, claims that manufacturing jobs will be created due to the new gas coming through the pipelines are false. In reality, there will be barely any new jobs, no new gas, and no new energy coming to Virginia. Both pipelines are already slated for expansion to the other er to other areas, and both will have connections to Dominion's Cove Point gas export facility. The frac gas will be exported out of state or most likely out of the country for a 14% guaranteed rate of return to the pipeline companies at the expense of livelihoods, water, land, and climate. Most of the temporary jobs, which are almost all that will be created and smaller in number than reported by the pipeline companies, will and already go to out-of-state workers. All of the primary companies contracted to build the pipelines, Precision Pipeline for the MVP and the Spring Ridge Constructors, Constructors Joint Venture for the ACP are out-of-state companies. According to the economic impact reports commissioned by the pipeline companies, Dominion and EQT, only 39 and 34 permanent jobs will be created for the ACP and MVP respectively. The Bureau of Labor Statistics most recent report showed that wind turbine technicians and solar panel installer are the fastest growing jobs in this country. You are shutting Virginians out of this growth by rejecting renewable energy and locking us into dependence on dying fossil fuels. And you do this simply to appease the corporations who line your pockets with donations. That is your legacy, Governor Northam, the selling of Virginia's economic and environmental future in the name of corruption. Shame on you.
do we want to? 